People have been building defensive walls for thousands of years. The highly effective Great Wall of China stopped Mongol hordes, but I want to focus on walled cities. From Kiva in Uzbekistan to Novgorod in Russia, from Carcassonne in France, yes, this city inspired the name of the board game, to Avila in Spain, walled cities protected their inhabitants over centuries. And while some of these walls can have sharp angles, some tend to be rounder and some are, well, super round. Is there an advantage to having a wall that is so circular? Absolutely. This is the so-called isoparametric or equal perimeter property. What's that? Start with a loop of string that cannot be stretched. What configuration maximizes the enclosed area? Most people guess that it is a circle and that's correct. Stating this a different way, if you want to surround a fixed area, the shape with the smallest perimeter is the circle. Going back to walled cities, after deciding how much area to surround, making a circular wall means less construction and less wall to guard. Why does the circle maximize the enclosed area? The basic idea is that any shape that is not a circle can be modified to keep the same perimeter but increase the area. For example, take a shape that is not convex and reflect this piece of boundary so that the perimeter is unchanged but the area increases. Or consider this shape that is convex. By cutting and flipping this portion around, the perimeter and area have not changed but the altered region is no longer convex, so like before, we can make the area larger. With some more work, one can formally prove that the mighty circle encloses the largest area. This idea of maximizing the area is connected to the ancient story of Queen Dido of Carthage. Legend has it that she was given as much land as she could surround by the height of a bull and the coast. Making a long rope from the hide, what is the shape that maximizes the area? The answer is a semicircle. Why? If we reflect a region like this, this doubled region, whose perimeter is simply twice the original perimeter, has maximum area when the shape is a circle. So Queen Dido's problem is answered when the curve is a semicircle. Let's finish with a fun problem that you can stump your friends with. Start with an equilateral triangle. This vertical line is the shortest curve that connects the top corner to the bottom edge while dividing the area in half. But what if I let you choose any starting point on the red segment and any finishing point on the green segment? Of all the curves that bisect the area, which one is the shortest? Pause now if you want to think about it. The trick is to make copies of the triangle and form a hexagon. The total blue region has the same area as exactly three triangles no matter how the curve is chosen. Since this area is fixed, the isoparametric property tells us that a circle attains the shortest perimeter, so the curve we are looking for is this circular arc. Yeah, it's not what I would have guessed either. <laughs>